What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. And we're back this week with a movie review on John Wick 3. Yeah! Ray, it's just, just his pants. <laughs> so, this, oh, well before actually watching John Wick 3, I actually spent the last week, over the weekend I basically watched, uh, rewatched one and watched two for the first time. And after watching the third one, my god! That movie was fucking insane. So good. Just unbelievably good. I mean, I had heard, like, before watching it, I heard rumors that it was going to be the, four, the fourth extent, like, part of the mo uh, the series. That was my spoiler, so I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that I hate about internet culture when it comes to movies. Like, there's no really big surprises anymore mm. with certain things. Like, for instance, like, Keanu Reeves did a review, a review, blah, blah, blah. he did an interview with, um, I forgot which um, magazine company, but he did an interview and he said he's going to be playing John Wick as long as possible, which means, obviously, expect be, a lot of ass kicking. <laughs> There's going to be another sequel on top of the third, even though the third didn't even drop yet. And mind you, I saw that interview like literally like three months before mm. three came out. So I was just like, Yay. <laughs> I, wasn't even upset. I was just like, yes. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, this movie was very well done. The choreography for the fight scenes were actually pretty good. There were a couple of funny, like, fighting moments where it's like you looked at the situation where John Wick's just like, oh, you're not dead yet, stab. <laughs> and compared to the other mo compared to the other two, like, I'm su surprised like, the, the cursing was actually cut to a minimum. I was actually going to point that out myself. Like, it was like, I guess they kind of heard the feedback from other people because they one of the things they said was like, there was like so, like, obviously we're dealing with mobs, we're dealing with people who kill other people, and I get they're not the best of people in the world, obviously. Right. But one of the things was that it's kind of like, why is it so much like and I'm not trying to say that to sound like a wimp or anything like that but like sometimes it's just not necessary mm. so when you watch this movie you're like wow this is actually you know pretty tamed on the language it was cut down like a decent amount like, but I mean like let's put it this way I can understand why there was like a lot of the cursing from the other ones because let's put it this way if you're getting hit in the face what's the first thing you're saying fuck I'm like say no don't do that please <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, again, like aside from that, the action was top notch. Mm hmm. A little surprised with the ch with a lot of the chase scenes, though. Yeah, they did those very well. They did those very well. I was actually expecting a couple of explosions, but I'm su actually surprised that there wasn't not a, not a single explosion. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not Michael Bay, so. Well, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say go Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. But I think one of the things that I love about this movie and. You know, obviously this isn't a spoiler, but they found a way to expand the John Wick universe. Oh, they did. Because obviously in the first movie, it's all about his dog. The second movie is about his car. Now we're starting, well, spoilers, I'm not going to say what the third is about, but the third, like, really hones in on, like, yo, like, these are the consequences of your actions from the last mm. two films. And, you know, obviously if you're going to this movie without watching the other ones... Why would you do that? Because I know there's some people who's like, well, I didn't see the other two. Should I watch three? Because they like the coming attractions. And I'm just like, just watch the other two because the other two are just as good. No, yeah, definitely. Um, the story, the plot for the whole thing, extremely solid. Yeah. I'm, I'm at a loss for words, honestly, because <laughs> I wasn't anticipating. I, 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 I mean, again, like from seeing the first two over the weekend and seeing this one, mm -hmm. I, I have no words. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to describe the plot because, again, it's the third part. And it's such a heavy emphasis on what happened in the past. So, it's pretty much boiled down to, without spoilers, is your consequences has repercussions. Mm. And they really did a heavy emphasis on why you don't do things, obviously, on continental rounds. For anyone who saw the second part, you'll understand. Right. Because I was because the Continental was basically their safe haven. Exactly, and I I love just first of all I've been saying this for a long time ever since I saw John Wick in two thousand fourteen. I 
John Wick is the best action series of this generation. Just absolutely, hands down, absolutely. <laughs> like it's not one of those things that's like it's useless action. There's not, oh well, this is being done for no reason. Like this is actually done for many reasons. Like you have a solid story about trust, loyalty, honor, and even to the point where your enemies themselves respect you enough to be like, I'm not gonna kill you now, but I'm gonna kill you when the time is right. And during battle, and one of the things I respected in three was that there were certain points where the enemies had clear opportunities to kill Wick. But, but, they, were, they, but they were too busy fangirling. Yeah, it was either they were too busy fangirling, which I thought was kind of funny. No, that was that was that was like that, that's like that was the highlight there as far as a comedy book. Yeah. It's like it's like we enjoy fighting you. <laughs> too bad we gotta kill you, but we enjoy fighting you. Exactly, because John Wick has such a, a iconic you know, reputation in this universe to the point where, like I said, the enemies had clear opportunities to go kill John Wick, but because they respected him so much, which leads me to believe that he has such a longer legacy than I could possibly imagine. Mm. Like, again, like, most these days, you know, if you have an enemy, the, the first thing they're going to do is kill you as soon as possible. With this one, it was like, it was really about respect. And I just love that about the films. Like, it brings more value into this series than any other action series I could possibly think about. Absolutely. Now, I guess let's jump into the, the uh, grading of it. I mean, we basically touched base on everything aside from spoiling anything. As far as what, actually, we'll start off with you. As far as what do you want, what would you give it? So, besides my bias, because I've been a fan for so long, I'm going to give this movie a ten out of ten. Just instantly right off the bat. I think it's a solid sequel. And most sequels, when you watch a film, tend to not be as good. Or sometimes they're better. Mm. With this one, I feel like there's a solid pacing with each one. Like, each movie is bigger than the next, but it still keeps the value of each movie to an equal standstill. Because I could watch John Wick 1 and 2 like I did before and appreciate 3 just as much as the other two. Mm. Alright, so you're 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Just, it's a perfect sequel for the series. Alright, now as far as my grade for it, just from what I've seen between the first two movies and this one, there's one thing a lot of you guys gotta know about me. I am a huge, huge fan of Assassins. Assassino. Assassino! <laughs> Because, again, like if you've watched any of the stuff on my gaming channel or watch any of the stuff on the live streams, I play a lot of Assassin's Creed. This movie, 10 out of 10. No question about it. Very solid. They actually, I'm not giving away how they segue into the, the, for, the upcoming fourth movie, but the segue into it, perfect. Perfect way to close off on it. The action was top notch. The choreography for the fight scenes, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The action, phenomenal. I mean, like the only, the gripe that I got as far as like the lack of explosions. Now, granted, it's not a Michael Bay movie. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily a big fan of Michael Bay movies to begin with because I think the majority of their freaking funding is basically uh, yeah. Who's got the TNT? Yeah, not so. But honestly, with one of the chase scenes with the motorcycles, I was expo expecting at least one of those motorcycles to blow up. Mm. Especially the way some of the tank is. You gotta remember the gas tank on the motorcycles. Oh yeah, no. Basically course. out there. <laughs> of course, but... But aside from that, the movie is a solid 10 out of 10. Great action, great choreography for the fight scenes. The characters were done very well, especially from the following two, from the previous two movies. Other than that, I would suggest definitely go see it. Same. And if you haven't seen the first two... Watch them. Watch them. And if you're in the mood to just rush through it, I'm sure there's a website on that you can Google as far as to get yeah. the synopsis of the first two. Exactly. And, <laughs> shameless plug right now, Amazon actually has both John Wick 1 and 2 for 7 bucks on Amazon right now. Seriously? Yes, seriously. My boy just got both of them. He told me yesterday. You giving me ideas? <laughs> I just got paid last week. It's, it's like, ching. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's been our review of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Exactly.
I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Reyes World TV. All right. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more movie reviews. And we'll see you guys in the next review. Also, spoiler alert, John Wick is also an assassin from Assassin's Creed. So am I. <laughs> <laughs>